For this week's episode, we went around Colombo after midnight on a Friday, where we wanted to check out not so much the clubs and the dancing and the bars, but sort of what people are doing, normal people, on a Friday night. Why are they out? Where are they hanging out? What are they doing? Um, we found a good number of people, uh, normal people, who were just out and about trying to enjoy some time off, trying to take in the city without the traffic, spend time with their friends in the cool atmosphere, by the water, by the ocean, by lakes. Um, it was just a chill time. So. New York City, where I come from, is the city that never sleeps. At any and all hours of the day and night, people will be on the street, uh, cars will be going around, there will be noise, it'll, there will be fumes. Uh, it's very unlike Colombo, where after about 10 to midnight, very few cars are on the road, uh, very few people are walking around, unless you go to, you know, the special clubs and stuff. But really, the city goes to sleep, and until 4 or 5 in the morning, there's really not much going on. But this is what we wanted to explore, the differences between Colombo and sort of the more New york -y cities of the world. Nighttime in Colombo really brings out a lot of the economic disparities inherent in Sri Lankan society. Um, while the wealthier classes are having a night on the town going out and about, uh, you see a lot of poorer people from lower class backgrounds setting themselves up for a night on the, uh, sleeping on the street, I should say. Um, you know, putting down cardboard, sleeping next to their carts. These are bus drivers, these are street sweepers, and, you know, it's very sad to see them driving all day, cleaning all day, and then setting themselves up for a sort of uncomfortable night. So part of what I wanted to check out during this episode were the groups of people who come out at night and uh, who you don't really see during the day. And one of these groups, probably the most amazing group, was a gang of motorcycle riders who are a bunch of childhood friends who gather every weekend night, Fridays and Saturdays at around midnight, and who ride their motorbikes together. Uh, they were kind enough to offer to take me on a ride and uh, once I got on the back of uh, one of these bikes, the driver started telling me that, you know, this is his favorite part of the, of the week, where he can ride around the empty streets of Colombo, pretty much go as fast as he wants, do what he wants, uh, and that it's a perfect break from his office job, where he feels a little bit bored and constrained. So this is where he really lets it all loose. So after my evening of walking around and taking sweet motorcycle rides, I decided that I had to hit up Pilaus, the Colombo institution that serves up some of the best cheese kotu in the city. When I was in there, hanging out with the video crew, uh, a bunch of five dudes sitting across from us started calling out, Hey, Sudda, Kohomada. Um, and I had to, you know, of course, say what up and talk to them. After chowing down with my new friends at Pillows, it was time to go and see what else I could find. So walking around Colombo at night was a very interesting exercise for me. I think the next chapter of the nighttime detours will have to be at a club or at a bar to check out what the other scene, the crazy nightlife scene, is really like. See you then.